Hey guys, what's going on? It's Bosk of the Bosk Coin YouTube channel, and today I'm here to talk to you about the Ant Miner power supply, specifically the APW3. So, this is the APW3, really the only power supply offered by Ant Miner currently, and this is the 10 PCIe plug model, which also appears to be the only model they're currently producing right now. And again, this is a really good move by them because they're selling more power supplies. The actual makeup, it honestly seems to be a pretty good quality, especially being a you know generic Chinese PSU, server PSU I should say. Um, it, it's pretty sturdy, you know, it feels good, it's compact, it's built well enough as far as I can tell, and I don't really hear many reports of any issues with the actual power supply. It's rated with platinum efficiency, but you know, you always have to take things like that with a grain of salt. I mean, who verified that? Who makes this? We probably don't know. So if you look at the actual makeup, you're gonna see that it has uh, two styles of plugs. It's got four plugs, another four plug, a one plug, the other style, and the other one plug. So honestly, getting these onto the board, it's a little tight, it's a little annoying. I'd like to just see them separated out personally, but you know, this does keep it pretty neat. I mean, this is much easier wire management, just kinda in general. As far as the plug, it's a C13. If you don't know too much about power cables, that is basically just the standard universal-ish uh, computer plug-in. Like if you just have a basic monitor or electric device, it's gonna be C13. This is good. This makes it very easy to find power cables. I order mine on Amazon. I'll drop the links below and I get them two day shipping for like four bucks. It's a pretty sweet deal. So that's good, that's what I like to see. And you see one fan here, this is an exhaust fan, it shoots out. As you can see here, one of the ideal ways to set it up is you just put the power supply right next to it and match the exhaust fans, and it just goes right over and looks clean. The power supply isn't noticeably loud. Um, quite honestly, in my mining setup, I could never even hear the power supply, especially over the D3. The D3 is not a quiet miner. If you want to check out a lot of cool videos on the Antminer D3 or my L3 Plus review, make sure to check out the Voscoin channel, subscribe, We've got a lot of cool content on those miners. As far as powering your ant miners, you've got a couple other options other than the Bitmain power supply, which ends up being not expensive but not cheap in the end. You kind of pay about 150 bucks, and if you order a miner, you don't get shipping with this included or anything like that. This will be shipped separately. Speaking of shipping, here's the box. This is what it looks like, what it comes in. It's pretty nice packaging, cost effective certainly. Nice foam cutouts holding the PSU secure in here. The plastic wrap to hopefully prevent it from any kind of light water damage. But again, if it gets dropped in the ocean, you're kind of screwed, bro. So all in all, there's really not much to it. It's a power supply, it works, it's good, it's efficient, it's relatively cost effective, it's not very loud, it runs on 120 volt, 220 volt, 240 volt, you know, basically all around the world. And if you're looking to pick one up, there's a lot of options. You can order one from Bitmain, but you know, like always, they're a couple months out. If you need one sooner, I know that Crypto Crane has them in stock. You can check that link below. You can also check out the Bitcoin Talk classified section as they will also have normally a couple of power supplies floating around there. Or you can look at other options just such as simply generic server PSUs you can find on eBay. I bought one for like 100 bucks one time and it was okay, it was gold rated. As you can see here, it's bigger, it's blacker and it had an on off switch, so that was kind of cool. But again, the actual uh, APW3++, I mean, well, that's kind of a ridiculous name, come on. You guys gotta come up with some better names than that. But anyway, sorry. In comparison, uh, the APW3++ is nicer than that generic one. There's also options to use ATX power supplies, but by the time you get one with enough PCIe connections and just the actual power output to handle something like this, especially the D3 because it's a little more power hungry, you're paying two, three, four hundred bucks, and it actually just ends up being more cost effective to buy these. There's also Parallel Miner, who, you know, full disclosure, I am an affiliate. You can check out the link below to pick up a Parallel Miner. They're almost always in stock, and they have options to power one or two D3s or 3.0 pluses with just one power supply for about the same cost as a APW3. All right, guys, so that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you liked my review on the APW3. If you're wondering, it is. Tails approved, and it's nice to see we also have other options as consumers. So, with that said, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.